What's going on guys? It's got a little cold here, but I wanted to give you an update of kind of what I'm doing with the boat. So, I framed it. Uh, the framing's not done. I'm still going to work on uh, reinforcement of some things, but basically what we have is, we have this is inch and a half PVC. Uh, it's yet to be glued um, together. Uh, I'm going to lash it down with some uh, kind of uh, some lashings I picked up. Um, they're not going to be ratchet straps. They're just going to be pull taut and uh, one-way lashings. They're going to be, uh, I got four of those. And so what, basically the layout's going to look like this. It's going to be, this is going to be a removable lean bar. Okay, it's going to be reinforced. Uh, just like many parts of this, it's going to be, it's going to be reinforced. But it's going to be detachable. Um, and how I'm going to do that is this. I'm actually not going to glue this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run the reinforcing. I'm going to either use a dowel rod um, with another piece of PVC that's going to be molded in there and, and screwed in, or I'm going to use a 2x2 two two, okay, uh, shaved uh, on, the, on the square parts, um, and I'm going to mate it to another piece inside here with some of these quick clips. They're, I mean, you've seen these before on like tree stands and stuff. It's basically like you take it off and then you feed it through and latch it on. Or latch it on. So I have a bunch of those for here and there. I'm also going to do the same thing up front, but instead of it being just a lean bar up front, um, I'm going to have a detachable uh, kind of like a, a storage um, platform. So picture either a lean bar up front or you can take the lean bar off and put storage up front. Um, I decided to maintain... Uh, the some of these seats now this is pretty deflated because of the pressure because it's cold but um, I maintained that this this seat without anything on it because sometimes anglers like to have nothing and so whenever they go to fish they could either they could either sit and not use the lean bar or they can use the lean bar like this okay um, and it, the lean bar will be a little lower. I'm kind of short, I'm like 5'8", but uh, I deflated the floor for the most part, so it should sit about just above where the waist is. Um, and again, this is gonna be uh, reinforced um, in the stem here. And then um, the, uh, so they can either choose to not have anything, or I'm gonna also, uh, that seat and this seat can be taken out and swapped up. So say they wanted a swivel seat, but in and no lean bar, or they wanted both, they can utilize any combination of the two. Then, what we have here is the rowing seat. So the boat came with oars, but obviously I'm not gonna use those for um, technical rowing. I get to fasten down. I prefer just to have the seat as is. I might pad it, I might not. I might put a non-grip slip on there, I might, I might not. I'm not sure until I get in it and roll it more frequently. But uh, what I have here, are again these are going to be reinforced also and this is really soft because of the, the weather but basically what I have is these are going to be reinforced and angled I still am able to change the angle at the moment but I'm going to put them the same locking manner as those pins except I'm debating whether to just use bolts and wing nuts because um, I really don't want them to move because you don't want them to move while you're rowing I have a set out to be very comfortable and Instead of using, you know, like the typical um, mounts or the mounts that come with the boat, I picked up, like I'm not going to go with Sawyers or anything because I just really at the moment can't afford that. And until I can, like, I made it with an inch and a half so that I can utilize most accessories if I reinforce the centers. Instead, I picked up some of these inexpensive uh, ore mounts and ore locks. I wanted to go with the, the horns because... It fits well with most uh, inch, and, inch and three quarter, I believe. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to there's going to be a, a, a wooden dowel that runs through this, and it's going to be glued and screwed in pretty strongly. I'm going to drill in from the top with um, the three quarter inch. I'm sorry, the yeah, the three quarter inch base here, and I'm going to set this in to here, and I'm going to screw in to there. So it's going to sit like that, there and here like that and it's going to be able to uh, I'm going to make sure that I've, I've got these comfortably set so when I'm rowing um, I can feather I can do everything I need to for actual rowing rather than just kind of 
lock in. Like I'm not a big uh, proponent of having everything locked in. I don't really care for it. Uh, I used to do more rowing than I do now, but uh, I want to get back into rowing appropriately. Okay. So there's that. That's here. Okay. I also have um, an anchor cleat. I'm actually going to be using this. Uh, this is going to sit uh, right about either here or I'm debating whether to have it drop down lower. I think it's going to go here or here. And I'm going to have another piece of PVC run uh, along the back because I want to be able to have my anchor uh, run through that along the side and out back over the nose. So that whenever, because I'm going to be rowing it like this, okay, I want when heading downstream, I want the pontoon butts there to head downstream. But again, this whole thing's reversible. I can flip this whole thing around and row it any way I want. Um, or when we're on open lake, I don't even have to have the frame on there, or I can choose to not use the frame for its purposes and, and use the motor and go forward. But in the meantime, I definitely want to be able to anchor out the front, or out the nose rather. So there's that. Moving back. Um, this isn't, nothing's, you know, seated in, but I do want the flexibility to have a cooler, and so uh, this is, if I want to have the cooler, probably going to have the swivel seat in the front, or no swivel seat at all, and uh, the cooler will sit here. Uh, with some rigging stuff here if I need to. I also, there's a really cool product by Rising that fits inch and a half um, NRS standard like frames that will either sit there or I might even put the cleat there, I'm not sure, um, or there, whatever. But uh, I want it to be able to, I want to be able to reach all my stuff if I need to or have the angler do so if I need them to. Uh, some other stuff I picked up uh, moving forward here, let me just get off the boat here. Lots of room in this. I'm very excited I went with this size because although it's 15 and a half, I feel like I got a lot out of the 15 and a half feet. So, ugh, picked up a bilge pump. Uh, I could have this self bailing if I want to. It does have a pl uh, plug in the back, if I, if, you know, but having a bilge pump is nice. I don't plan on taking this in white water, and obviously you can tell I'm not using a metal frame, but. You'd be a fool not to have some kind of bilge pump in your inflatable. Picked up a smaller, uh, you know, pump, an electric pump. If it can do, if it can inflate tires, I'm sure that it'll get me most of the way for me to finish it off with a hand pump, which I'll get somewhat soon here. Uh, but let's see. Yeah, it'll. If, I like the fact that I can run it out of the car and not have to have any adapters. Just run it out of the the DC. Um, and so that's nice. And last thing I have right now is I picked up an anchor lock uh, for the. Whenever I have my storage thing up here, it's not going to be too high. It's going to actually rest on the nose here, and it's going to come about this high, so the angle can still see, and so that I can still see. Um, but it'll either run like this. Uh, I think it'll run. Yeah, I'm going to run it like this um, off the end, uh, regardless of whether I'm going to whether I use rowing or I have an anchor, um, I definitely want to be, or uh, a motor, I definitely want to be able to, to anchor, six, uh, and I do have an anchor coming from Fishing Surf, really cool dudes, um, and then I'm also going to be working on a process to get this thing lifted up and in the garage and out of the way, so that's what it looks like so far, it's taken a lot of work, even without gluing and reinforcing, it's taken a lot of work to get the, my measurements down and stuff, some finishing touches moving forward. But uh, hopefully you guys liked it. If you, guys did, if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Check out the other videos in the playlist. Again, this is my Brees 15.4 inflatable uh, crossover kind of inflatable kayak type thing. Um, I got chirped at for calling it a Kubota. It is not a Saturn Kubota. Um, so please, you know, I just want to show you what, you what you can do with a little bit of intuition, a little bit of know-how, a little bit of patience. And uh, hopefully you guys like it. And hopefully, some of you guys will come fish with me out of it uh, here in the spring and in the summer chasing some big, big fish. So, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, check out the videos in the playlist, and until next time, guys, catch you guys on the flip side, tight lines, and we're out.